Hey everyone, welcome to Mind Leaves. In today's video, I will talk about the five pillars of my investment portfolio. Now, this video is focused on my investment portfolio over on eToro. Now, I recently had a lot more followers and copiers of my portfolio, and I wanted to give you a bit of a deeper dive on how I decide what to invest into and how I constructed my portfolio, as well as how I tend to think going forward in regards to investing. If you are new to investing and you want to start using eToro, there will be a sign up link up here and I will also put a sign up link in the description box down below. Now eToro is a really great platform to use for investing or trading and you can check out some reasons why I think that the platform is really great to use in my video linked up here as well. So it is Christmas and I really hope you had a great and blessed time with family and friends and <clears throat> I recently had a baby like last week and it just made me realize even more what a special time of the year it is to cherish loved ones. It also made me even more focused on investing for the future, thinking about my baby's future because time is of such importance when it comes to investing. So uh, with that said, let's get into the five pillars of my investment portfolio. Even though they are focused on my eToro portfolio, they are general pillars I follow when handling and investing money. I used it the first time we bought an investment property and I even used it the first time I bought crypto. Now as always, this is not any financial advice and it might not even be the best advice for your portfolio or investment needs. This is just my opinion and the way I like to invest. So let's get into it. Number one. I always focus on long-term compounded growth. Now, I generally like to invest into something for a minimum of 10 years. So when I want to buy a certain stock or ETF, I will most likely hold it for no shorter period than 10 years. Thinking over a longer period of time and focusing on investments that produces stable recurring growth is any investor's most powerful tool. Now, apart from stable growth, long-term investments will give you compounded growth like growth on growth and einstein called this the eighth world wonder now i made a video on how compounded growth really is like magic and i will link that video up here as well so when you invest into something for shorter periods you lose out on the compound interest effect and that can be fatal in securing good stable growth on investments number two managing risk in other words, diversify. Diversify your portfolio, diversify your investments, and don't put all your money in one basket. Now, even though I have heard this so many times before in my life, I believe this is one of those lessons you have to write somewhere, that you can read it every day. Because it feels like every other day there is a new get-rich-quick scheme looming. And sometimes these schemes do look promising. Now let's be honest, who does not want to become a millionaire in one year or rather get a 500% growth instead of a good moderate 15 to 20% growth that a good diversified ETF can give you. But we should be careful because these schemes rarely pan out. If anything, it is mostly luck in the rare case that you do make crazy returns from a specific investment. So to conclude, I don't think it is wise to throw all your money into one investment. Even though you do believe that this investment is going to the moon, it might just not pan out like that and you would have to take a loss or maybe lose everything and start all over again. So make sure to diversify your portfolio. It might be better to be the tortoise than the hare in the investing world. Slow is smooth and smooth is fast. This brings us to my next pillar, number three. Um, use your skill set. So use what you are good at when investing and building your portfolio. So if you are someone that is good at identifying a certain investment way before the mainstream, for example, use that to your advantage, of course. Or you might be good at identifying a really good small cap company that will grow exponentially. Again, use that. I, for one, am not good at identifying any potential 10x companies or movements beforehand. I am a teacher by trade and I'm no investment guru. Therefore, I focus on investing in already established markets, picking ETFs that consist of companies that I generally believe will still be around the day I hand over my portfolio to my grandchildren. Also, I don't like to complicate it. I try to identify companies whose products I consume and I use in my daily life, whether it's at my job or in my own personal capacity. And I use these simple concepts as guidance when investing. Thus, I know if I did something different, I would be speculating and then be at risk of losing a lot. 
So use your skill set or develop a certain skill, but don't use all of your capital to invest with a strategy that you do not understand yet. Okay, number four, fundamental analysis. I use fundamental analysis when building my portfolio. All right, so this correlates so well with pillar number one, and that is to focus on long-term investments. Now, I like fundamental analysis because I will use past and present data for deciding where to invest into. Now, past trends can show me how markets recovered from dips and corrections, and that gives me a good confidence to keep on investing into a particular market. Another reason fundamental analysis is great for me is because it protects you from herd mentality investments. Now, that is a big positive because usually these herd mentality investments go up really quickly in value and then is followed by sharp declines, usually. So like I said, I like to pick well-established markets and then dollar cost average into them over long periods. Number five, use the information that is available. So we live in a time where information on almost anything is available at your fingertips. Stocks, ETFs, bonds, crypto. You can find so much information on any specific one you are interested in really. And I believe that makes investing so much easier than 20 years ago or even 10 years ago. You can really research something thoroughly before throwing your money in it, right from the comfort of your own home. We are definitely in a time where you don't just have to go on some friend's investment advice or some broker's recommendations. You can use sources like the internet to really get much more comfortable on what you want to invest into. Now, this is such a crucial pillar in my investment strategy, just because when I started out when, with investing, it was very much influenced by people I know and the people around me, whilst I had no idea where I was putting my money. And it didn't bother me, even though I wasn't necessarily investing into good investments. But once I started using time to research the markets, I became much more skilled and confident in my own investment choices. And that really brings you peace of mind, to be aware where your money lies and what kind of growth you are expecting in some years from now. And not just hoping it will grow because someone told you so. So use the information that is available to you and do your own research when building a portfolio. Even though it is going to take some time, I think you will definitely save much more time in the future. All right, and that is a wrap on how I generally invest. These are the five pillars I use to make sure my investment portfolio is sound according to my needs. And remember, if you want to start using eToro for investing, you can find a sign up link in the description box. And you can also follow me on eToro or copy my trades if you like my portfolio. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a like if you found it worthy and also consider subscribing to my news to follow along on my financial journey. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, a wonderful festive season, happy investing and Merry Christmas. See you next time.